Hey guys. So um, I recently installed uh, or had installed six new solar panels uh, with a potential wattage of, of these six of about 1.8. This is the first leg of what I hope to eventually be a 20 panel system. So we have the first six solar panels. And so what I have here is my uh, latest bill. And I think this covers pretty much a full month with the new panels uh, installed. Now you can see that I've uh, kind of marked out my name and address and my account number and all that good stuff. That, that's kind of unnecessary but uh, what I wanted to show if you'll notice right here uh, in the upper right uh, corner the bill is twenty nine dollars and fifty six cents uh, and so that's the total bill and uh, the other thing that that you know that's kind of important here is if you look uh, basically this is the last 12 to 13 months so over on the right we have no you know the this bill the November bill where I use 65 kilowatt hours and if you'll look over to the other side to the left side of the uh, chart here you'll see that in November of uh, 2015 I uh, used 304 and so you can, but if you look at the other months, uh, like uh, let's say for example February, uh, it looks like April was the lowest month, and in April I used 275 kilowatt hours, and you can see that November is down to six or to 65, and so this is just with the uh, first, the addition of the first six uh, panels. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting once uh, the next leg of the panels are installed uh, and hopefully that'll be happening pretty soon but uh, and so here we can see the current service detail uh, the customer charge I'm not exactly sure what that is that may be the cut I'm not sure what a customer charge is I guess that has to that, I don't know it must do with the energy I'm not sure don't know <laughs> maybe I need to ask them uh, energy charge 52 kilowatt hours and then at 0 0.08 so these are obviously little add-ons I think fuel adjustment cost debt adjustment cost uh, county tax Arkansas state tax total electric charge uh, $29.56 and so that's uh, about the smallest bill that I've had uh, in quite some time so once all 20 panels are installed we should have uh, you know I should end up with uh, basically putting more energy into the grid that I'm taking out now I don't expect the electric company to pay me. Uh, I'm happy to give them donate whatever excess energy that I have uh, that I don't use because it is you know I give them in, you know put energy into the system and then they give it back. That's why you call it net metering, uh, net electricity. But so anything beyond that, uh, I'm happy to give to them. But uh, what's going to be interesting is uh, in the summer when my uh, Typically, when I, you know, the higher months that I have, you can see here in June I used 496, July 732, and then August 670, and then it went down in September 474, October 424. And for whatever reason, January was the biggest month, and I'm not, I think it was, might have been cold, and I, uh, my, you know, parents were there, and you know, we ended up using a lot of juice. Uh, 
so you know lots of laundry and what have you so uh, should be pretty interesting uh, it's gonna be really interesting now the other thing you can see here it says that you know period engine and then it's got average daily temperature uh, in 2015 it was average daily temperature of 67 degrees in 2016 it was average daily temperature of 65 degrees uh, average uh, daily kilowatt hour cost no I, I'm sorry average daily kilowatt hours 10 in 2015 and so far now it's 2016 it's saying 2 but uh, we'll have to wait you know until next November and then you know I'm going to get a better uh, perspective on what's going on with this bill average daily cost $1.54 for 2015 average daily cost for 2016 is 89 cents so uh, pretty good so I'm pretty happy with this bill and as I say uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens uh, once more panels are installed and th they're pumping uh, electricity directly into the uh, electric grid.